Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about something that I really haven't mentioned before. It's kind of like a personal thing with me. And what it is, is I am really OCD, okay? Obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about like, you know, handicaps or problems and how they hurt them, you know, uh, especially if it's like a mental disorder. I remember, for instance, Beckham, the soccer player, was talking about that. He can't have an odd number of cans of soda in the refrigerator. If there is an odd number, he'll throw one away so it's an even number again, you know. And uh, he said he's actually getting professional help for his, like, mental problem because uh, he says it's hurting his family, okay? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting having something like this. If we're driving in the car and my girlfriend sets the fan on the air conditioner at, like, five bars or at seven bars, I have to turn it down to six or I have to turn it down to four. I can't have it on an odd number because it just bothers me, okay? So it's kind of weird having like this disorder, but it's not like you are mentally insane. It's not like you're sick. And as a matter of fact, I don't think there's really such a thing as like a normal person. What I think is there are different things like, um, not OCD, but some people are so, clean that they're constantly washing their hands and they scrub the skin off their hands you know and then that's there are other people however because those people are sick well there are also other people that will defecate in their clothing and not even think about washing themselves okay so you have unhealthy clean people and unhealthy dirty people and then there's no such thing as normal people it's just if you are maybe a bit of a clean freak or less clean or maybe if you're a little bit sloppy or cleaner than that you're in like the normal zone and that's like what is considered to be like normal people but there is no such thing as like the perfect person or the normal person it's just are you within the normal levels you know so anyway I wanted to talk about how being OCD has really really helped me okay in fitness and in getting in shape um, I remember, for instance, when I was a kid, I couldn't figure out what to eat. Like lunch was a thing like, okay, breakfast is like cereal or uh, you know, bacon and eggs and dinner is like, you know, like, like some kind of meat and potatoes and vegetables and maybe a dessert. But what's lunch? You know, like I couldn't figure out what you're supposed to eat at lunch. And this really like, you know, is like I need to know exactly what to eat at lunch and I can't figure out what lunch is. Now I realize there is no difference between lunch and dinner. And there's really no difference between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but it's just, you know, whatever. And that kind of thinking, some people might think is kind of difficult to deal with, but the fact is this. When I am on a diet, I have no problem figuring out my macros one time and eating basically the same thing at the same time every day. I think it's pretty cool, okay? My girlfriend, she's like, I don't know how you can do this, how you can go ahead and eat the same thing every day. I'm like, I don't know how I can't do this, you know? Uh, a lot of people have a problem with their workouts because they don't write down what they do. How many reps, how many sets, how many exercises did you do? What order did you do? Did you go for one more rep? Okay, now I'm doing weighted calisthenics. Okay, how much weight did I use last time? How many reps did I get? For me, it is normal to write down every single thing. I have two diaries right now. One of them is every day exactly what I eat, how much I eat of it, and when, you know, the exact time. And the other book is my workout journal, which I write out in advance and everything from my warm up exercises, my static holds, to my weights, my reps, my sets, everything is written in there. And that helps me a lot, okay? A lot of people are like, well, I can't be bothered to think about, you know, progressions or whatever. With me, I'm like, if I add two and a half pounds every week to my pull-ups, that means I'm adding 10 pounds to my weighted pull-ups every single month, which means over six months, I'll have increased my weighted pull-ups by 60 pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but now it seems like a lot when you think about it over a long period of time. And that is, like I said, that helps me. This being OCD, this always having to figure everything out, always having to take copious notes, coming back from my workout and looking at my book and thinking to myself, what am I going to do next time? And what could I do better next time when I do my workout is obviously really helping me keep to my progression. 
figuring out my macros one day and eating basically the same thing again and again and again and again is really helping me with whatever diet I'm on. Okay, Weighing myself at the same time in the same condition every Saturday morning before I do anything else and writing it down is really helping me. So like I said, you know, a lot of things like that you think is like, you know, bad, whether it's mental or physical or whatever, it's if you use it in the right way, it can actually help you. Okay, like I said, being OCD has certainly helped me. You know, in fitness, I just found a way for it to help me. I'd probably be a great accountant too, because I would just sit down and make sure the numbers work, you know, because that's just the way I am. And, you know, I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I was reading about the guy who found, uh, you know, like, like hidden civilization or previously hidden civilization in Crete and he was nearsighted. You know, all the others could play ball. He couldn't very, see very well very far. So he would be looking at things up close and be able to see them better than people have normal vision. It's basically just a point of like finding out what your weaknesses are, finding out what your strengths are and thinking, how can I apply my strengths in a situation where my weaknesses will count less against me and that's basically the way to get the most out of life. So anyway, like I said, there's a little personal information about me and how I deal with my condition and why I really don't think that it's uh, much of a problem at all to be just a little bit OCD in terms of my fitness and my nutrition.